Hey guys, LA here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to adjust the screen resolution for Kali Linux to fit your screen resolution on your monitor. Now, if you've installed Kali Linux onto VirtualBox, uh, you'll see that the screen resolution isn't optimized to fit any monitor. Um, it comes optimized to fit a small box here, and this box, if you maximize it, doesn't conform to uh, the entire screen and if you go to view or full screen mode it doesn't fill the entire screen there's actually black borders as you can see around here so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to fix that issue now the way we're gonna fix that issue is by loading the um, VirtualBox Guest Editions CD-ROM into Kali Linux. And so we'll get started with doing that. Um, however, there are additional steps along the way and we're gonna go through each and every process. So first step is to load the Guest Edition CD. And we can do that by going to device as soon as I hit the control here going to go to device and we're going to go to guest edition CD image all right so as you can see uh, as you can see here we've gotten a message saying that it's a CD detected and we'd like to run it so if you click run you'll see that you'll run into an error message and that it won't actually run So what we'll need to do is we'll need to um, go through the process of executing a couple of commands. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is we want to upgrade um, our version of Linux. So we're going to pull up the terminal and we're going to type a couple of commands here. The first command we're going to type in is going to be an apt update. Now, the next command we're going to type in is going to be an apt upgrade. Now, this is going to um, use up a bit of space here, so keep that in mind. But we're going to go ahead and click on yes to continue. Not only will it chew up a little bit of space uh, so uh, keep that in mind when you're creating some of these virtual images but it's also going to take a little bit of time to download and install so keep that in mind as well okay so now that the upgrade is complete we're going to do another command which is going to be the apt uh, distro upgrade and we're going to go ahead and click on yes okay so now we're going to go ahead and reboot and we can reboot using the reboot command Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and log in here using root and my password. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open up the terminal once again. And now we want to install uh, some Linux headers. So we can do that using the command apt install Linux and we're gonna type in 
Linux dash headers dash we're gonna put a dollar sign there open brackets and we're gonna type in uname and we're gonna give it an R parameter and we're gonna go ahead and hit enter now it's asking us if you'd like to continue go ahead and hit yes okay now that that's done we're going to do another command here and that's going to be the apt auto remove and we're going to click on yes or type y so now we've applied the necessary updates and we've installed the necessary packages so at this point what we want to do is we want to locate the CD drive or excuse me we want to locate the CD-ROM here and we want to make a copy of that as well as change the uh, permissions so that we can install that um, CD So we're currently in root. We want to navigate back, and we can do that using the cd dot dot backslash or forward slash. Now we want to navigate into the media folder. So you can type cd media and enter. And we want to navigate into the CD-ROM folder, so you can type a CD, CD-ROM. So here we can see that we're in the CD, uh, we're in the virtual box CD, and we want to move the VBox Linux editions dot run into the uh, root folder. And we can use that. We can do that using the uh, copy command. So let's do a cp, and we're going to do our location, which is for slash media cd rom, and we want to move the vbox Linux. So I'm going to type vbox Linux and let that auto complete, and we're going to move that into root. So now if I cd into root and do directory, we're going to see the VBox Linux installation there. Now what we want to do is we want to do a chmod and type in 755 as well as root and the VBox and hit enter. So that's going to change the permission settings. So at this point, we want to go ahead and run that uh, run file. And we can do that by typing in a period forward slash vbox. And I'm typing tab here to autocomplete. So if you are in a current directory and you type in maybe the first four characters of a of a file or folder or a, a command and you hit the tab key uh, it'll autocomplete for you so again we're going to type in a dot forward slash and vbox linux editions dot run and I'm going to hit enter and as you can see uh, we've gotten an error message. Our error log has let us know that it is located uh, in the uh, for in a slash var slash log. So we're going to go ahead and cat to that directory.
and as we can see here uh, in the log we're actually getting a notification to install a library file so what we can do here is we can type in apt get install and l i b e l f dash d e v and we can press enter now it's going to ask us if we'd want to continue go ahead and hit yes and let that unpack and install Okay, so now that that is complete, I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen to give us a clean terminal. And since we're still in root, I'm going to go ahead and try to execute the VBox Linux editions. So it seems that the guest additions to the installed successfully. We want to go ahead and give it another reboot. So I'm going to type in the reboot command and hit enter. Okay, so Kali has loot, uh, booted back up, and I'm going to go ahead and log back in here. Now, immediately, as we can see here, uh, as I resize the screen, uh, Kali is making adjustments. Uh, if you go up to the top of your VirtualBox instance and you click on View and you go down to Virtual Screen 1, you'll see that you have options here enabled to uh, adjust the aspect ratio for your screen. I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, 1440 by 900. And it seems like this is giving me a pretty good uh, aspect ratio is going edge to edge on my monitor here and I'm also going to go ahead and go to full screen mode and you can do quickly do this by hitting your host key and F which for me by default is the right control button and F so I'm switching to full screen here and as you can see, uh, Kali Linux is uh, border to border on my monitor with the correct aspect ratio. You can also change the uh, resolution and aspect ratio by going to show all applications and scrolling down to settings, clicking on settings, going down to device, clicking on displays and resolution
and if you're trying to get rid of your CD here or if you'd like to eject the CD what you can do is you can right click on the CD and click on eject alright and there you have it uh, we have Kali Linux on full screen mode on VirtualBox uh, if you guys like my video go ahead and hit the like button and if you have any questions or comments feel free to uh, leave them there in the comment section thank you for watching my video